Sunday's 75th annual Golden Globes was a historic one for its focus on women. From the red carpet blackout to the actress acceptance speeches, the night was almost entirely dedicated to discussing the future of women across the globe and in Hollywood itself. Here are the 10 best moments for women at the Golden Globes. 10. Amy Poehler accuses Seth Meyers of mansplaining comedian and former Golden Globes host Amy Poehler went straight for the joke jugular during Seth Meyers' monologue. Taking part in his punchline game, Poehler opted to deliver her own version of the jokes and Meyers' mansplaining help. Bringing in the feminist police early in the show reclaimed the stereotype, thus beating annoying commenters to their own punchline. 9. Why when Where Black decides not to boycott the Golden Globes the show of solidarity for the Time's Up and Why Why Where Black movement might not have happened if women had decided to boycott the Globes altogether. During a red carpet interview with NBC's Al Rocker, Kerry Washington discussed the decision she and other women made to wear black to the awards show rather than skip it altogether. We should NT have to sit out the night, she said. We should NT have to give up our seat at the table because of bad behavior that WASNTRs. We get to be here to celebrate each other and to support each other and to stand in joy and solidarity. Listening to Washington and other women on the red carpets impassioned plea to stand together and refuse to be ignored was electrifying. 8. Gerwig takes center stage when the cast of Lady Bird went to accept the award for Best Film, Comedy or Al. One of the movie's producers went to the mic and declared that the director would be making the acceptance speech instead of the customary producer. Greta Gerwig is the only one who should speak for Lady Bird, he said, as Gerwig along with several other women directors were notably snubbed from being nominated in the Best Director category. 7. Deborah Messing calls out E. While on the red carpet, Will and Grace star Deborah Messing called out E. over former host Kat Sadler's claim of pay and equality, as she was being interviewed for E.S. Golden Globes pre-show. Deborah Messing drags E. while being interviewed on E. I was so shocked to hear that E. doesn't believe in paying their female co-hosts the same as their male co-hosts picked out twitter.com slash hf3b2 what David Mack at David Mack out January 7, 2018 We want diversity, we want intersectional gender parity, we want equal pay, Messing told E. anchor Juliana Rancic on the carpet. I was so shocked to hear that E. doesn't believe in paying their female co-hosts the same as their male co-hosts. I mean, I miss Kat Sadler. We stand with her and that's something that can change tomorrow. We want people to start having this conversation that women are just as valuable as men. 6. Actresses bring activists and advocates as their guests Who Are You With became the new Who Are You Wearing on the Golden Globes red carpet as number of actresses chose to bring female activists and advocates as their guests. The director of the National Domestic Workers Alliance and co-director of the Caring Across Generations campaign, I Jen Poo, was the date of Meryl Streep. Emma Watson attended with Marie LaRossi, the executive director of IMCON UK. And Michelle Williams brought Tarana Burke, the creator of the Meta Movement. Read more about the advocate guests attending the ceremony here. 5. Host takes on Harvey instead of jumping around from topic to topic. Host Myers addressed the wave of UAL. Harassment allegations in Hollywood head on, starting first with Harvey Weinstein. It's time to address the elephant not in the room, Harvey Weinstein ISNT here tonight because well, I've heard he's crazy difficult to work with, Myers said. Don't worry, he'll be back in 20 years when he's the first person ever booed during the in-memoriam. And Myers didnt stop with Weinstein. Up next was Kevin Spacey. If they're going to do another season of House of Cards. Is Christopher Plummer available for that too? I hope he can do a southern accent because Kevin Spacey sure couldn't, Myers joked. 4. Frances McDormand can feel a change coming practically channeling her no-nonsense character Mildred from three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Frances McDormand's acceptance speech was simple, straight and spoke to the heart of Hollywood. So many of you know, I keep my politics private, McDormand started. But it was really great to be in this room tonight. And to be a part of the tectonic shift in our industry's power structure. Trust me, the women in this room tonight are not here for the food. We are here for the work, thank you. If anyone can sense change in this industry, is a woman who's been working in it for 30-plus years. 3. Natalie Portman criticizes the all-male director category Natalie Portman, alongside Ron Howard, shaded the best director category by emphasizing the all-male nominees. Simple. Elegant. 2. Baps chimes in on dragging the directors The list of snubbed women directors including D. Reese Mudbound, Catherine Bigelow Detroit Patty Jenkins Wonder Woman and Greta Gerwig Lady Bird surprised Barbara Streisand and she WASNT about to take the podium without calling it out. 
Backstage I heard I was the only woman to get the Best Director Award, Streisand said. You know that was 1984, that was 34 years ago folks, time's up. We need more women directors and more women to be nominated for Best Directors. Greta was definitely touched. 1. Oprah gives empowering speech Oprah Winfrey took the stage to receive the annual Cecil B. DeMille Award and delivered an empowering speech. On a night when most attendees wore black to support gender equality and the end of harassment, the star said, I want all the girls in here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And when that new day finally dawns it will be because of a lot of magnificent women, many of whom are right here in this room, tonight, and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say me too again. Winfrey is the first black woman to receive the HFPA's honor for lifetime achievement.